Hello, my name is Chris Kretzmarski, and I've been a journeyman tool and die maker for about 15 years at a company called Toolander Engineering. And today I'm gonna to share with you seven skills in my experience that it takes to be a complete tool and die maker with a focus on building precision stamping guys because that's what we do here. Skill number one, operating machines. Here at Toolander Engineering, we build precision stamping dies. And to build these dies, we need a unique set of machines. Each one of these machines is critical in the process of building and maintaining these dies. These stamping dies have so many unique components, and these components have to be made in different ways, with different tolerances, in different sizes, in different shapes, in different surface finishes, so on and so forth. A tool and die maker must know how to run all these machines. If he doesn't, he's like a construction worker trying to build an entire house with just a hammer and nail. It just wouldn't work very well. It would be a, it would be a complete disaster. Now these are some of the machines a tool and die maker would use. Surface grinders remove very small amounts of metal, producing a very accurate and smooth finish. Milling machines uses a rotating cutter to cut and shape. Lays make round parts. Drill presses force a rotating drill into metal making a hole. And then you have some specialty machines like EDM machines that send a pulse of electricity through a piece of wire. Um, and these machines will basically can cut almost any shape that you can program. Skill number two, reading blueprints. Mastering the art of reading blueprints is an absolute must for any tool and die maker. It's as vital as a cook knowing how to read a recipe. Blueprints contain an enormous amount of essential details crucial for creating precision components, dimensions, tolerances, various views. You have assembly instructions. Lacking understanding in any aspect of blueprint reading could result in disaster um, with scrapped parts, valuable time wasted. So this is definitely a very important skill is reading blueprints. Skill number three, understanding the basic function of a stamping die. This is the most obvious skill, but I still have to mention it. And for those of you watching that don't know what a stamping die is, it's basically a tool that cuts and bends sheet metal to a finished part. It has an upper half, it has a lower half, which get mounted in a punch press, which provides the power for the stamping die to cut and form the material. A tool and die maker should be an expert at understanding the ins and outs of a stamping die, such as performing maintenance, adjusting components, knowing how each component functions and fits together with the rest of the die, and also building a die from scratch. Skill number four, problem solving. A tool and die maker as a problem solver tackles a variety of challenges in manufacturing. These may include resolving issues with machine setups, troubleshooting errors in the production process, ensuring dimensions are all within proper tolerances, enhancing tool efficiency, and minimizing material waste. In this profession, facing unexpected challenges and creating solutions on the fly is just a regular part of the job. So problem solving is super important for a tool and die maker. Skill number five, attention to detail. Tool and die makers must embody precision in their work, especially when dealing with stamping dies with numerous ultra precise components. Many of these intricate pieces fit together as tightly as a Swiss watch or even a lot more, demanding meticulous attention to detail. In this field, precision is absolutely non-negotiable as every cut, measurement, and adjustment is crucial for the functioning of these stamping dies and the overall quality of the parts produced. So attention to detail, super important. Skill number six, mechanically inclined. You could argue that this isn't a skill, that this is something you're born with. 
However, natural tendencies still need to be honed and improved. Having a natural understanding of how to take things apart and put them back together is extremely important in this field. If you've always been a tinkerer, built things or take things apart and are able to put them back together, this could be a trade that would work well with you. Skill number seven, knowing CAD software. Now this skill is not an absolute necessity for a tool and die maker. There are many tool and die makers that don't know CAD software. Can you still be a good die maker without it? I still believe you can. But in my opinion, if you don't know this, you're going to be quite limited. By knowing CAD software, you can design an entire die from scratch. You can make your own part prints where you're not relying upon anyone else to do it. And you can even modify existing prints. Again, can you still be a good tool and die maker without this? Yes, but in my opinion, you're going to be quite limited without this skill. Now, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. If anyone is watching out there needs help designing a new part, we can help you with that. We can help build automated equipment. We can do staking, riveting, assembly, tapping, many other secondary operations, and of course, build you a very nice precision metal stamping die or answer any question that you might have. We would love to talk with anybody. We would love to help you guys meet all of your needs. Thank you again so much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.